What is going on, people of the internet? This is your friendly neighborhood devil man. About to steal me this fat ride and take it for some jumps. Here I am playing Grand Theft Auto Online. I am going to give you the good, the bad, and the apology heard around the world about Grand Theft Auto Online. So let's get into it as you watch me drive this nice looking, bumblebee looking motherfucker. For the good, we're going to start off by saying this game rocks. I'm not talking about Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm talking about Grand Theft Auto Online only. I could give two shits about the story mode in Grand Theft Auto 5. I could give two flying fucks. Um, online is what I wanted to play. Online is what I'm playing. Oh, here comes a jump. Here comes a jump. Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Oh, I guess not. That's just suck balls. <laughs> Maybe on the next try. In the online portion of the game, you're able to create your own character that kind of looks like you. Um, my guy kind of looks Indian because, God forbid, I can't make it just a normal white guy. <laughs> so here we go, attempt number two. While I try to rip this one off here. Um, the game is fun. You go running around, steal cars. It, it takes a while to get money and everything. But, oh, 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 oh. And I'm airborne. Look at me go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, perfect. Perfect jump. Perfect jump. Give it, give it a 9.5 because of the landing. Didn't stick it quite right. Lost a door on the travel. But um, this game this game was pretty pimp. I uh, like it right now. I'm playing um, a mission. I guess there's missions scattered around the world where um, you and four, you and three buddies can get together and steal something for somebody or do something. There's, like, survival. And then there's also, like, the death matches where you get your crew together and join another crew or just it's like an av18 deathmatch it's i'm not really a big fan of the gunplay enough to do deathmatch so i generally don't do that um I, I do like the co-op stuff there's also like races there's parachute jumps where you can jump from a helicopter and you just have to like fly through the rings and get points and stick landing and everything pretty much earns you money um you have to stick it in the bank, too, because, like, if somebody random were to fucking kill you while you're carrying so much money, they'd steal your money. And it's already a pain enough ass in the, in the game to earn money as it is. I think the most I've ever earned was, like, ten grand, and ten grand isn't enough to buy shit. Um, everything is outrageously overpriced. That's the bad. Um, housing is insane. Like, 150000 for a condo or something like that. Like, the cheapest condo is, like, 80000 I don't think I've yet saved up enough for that. You could buy garages, but I don't think there's anything great about them. It's just a garage. There's nothing in it. Um, other than that, it's it's very grindy. Um, uh, you play missions. You, you can rob stores and stuff, and then you have to escape the cops. And Stores only give you about two grand tops. Here I am on the wrong rooftop, because I've never played this mission before, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Until they tell me, hey, you got to come over here and, and this rooftop. I thought there was going to be cops down there or something. I don't know. Like I said, it's the first time I was playing this stuff. Um, and my nice leather jacket there. They have a lot of cool things where um, you have your cell phone, a little smartphone, and uh, you can take calls, and your friends can even call you. They could be in like a completely different room, because I think every Grand Theft Auto room only holds like 16 players, but they could be in a different room, and as long as you both are online, uh, your buddy can call you and be like, hey, do you want to do some, some something? And it goes right through the voice box and everything, the, the, voice, the chat... Um, the headset and everything, and it's it's really cool. I thought it's an awesome feature. I like it. Um, I don't know if there's three-way calling. I haven't really tried that yet. Um, another awesome thing is when you talk on the mic, your your mouth moves on your character. I thought that was kind of cool. And a lot of things that also involve the headset. Like surprisingly, it's like you have to have a headset even if like you're playing single player or something. But definitely, if you're playing online, like you go hold up a place, uh, you start screaming at them on the headset, and it makes their intimidation go up or. Um, you're at the strip club, you start talking to the chick and you, you flirt with her more or I think you can even take a shower if you're in a home and take a shower and you start singing in the shower, <laughs> you'll build up uh, RP, which is like what is it, rep points or something like that that's what, basically what your level is there's also job points, I haven't quite figured that shit out yet either, but I'm still learning now it's time for the bad um, unfortunately, there, this game, since launch, it launched two weeks ago, I think, October 1st, it has been plagued with, uh, bugs and errors, and sadly, people's characters have, have been deleted, cars have been deleted, 
Um, a lot of people's hard-earned time has been pretty much deleted. Uh, it was basically a problem with the cloud servers. Apparently, um, the save files go to the cloud, which is understandable. You want your you want your characters saved to a server and not your hard drive, so you don't accidentally delete it. And they're they're having problems probably because so many people want to play Grand Theft Auto online. But the great news about this is Dice has or not Dice, ooh, not Dice. I'm there on my shit list this week. Uh, what is it? Rockstar, I guess. Rockstar. The makers of Grand Theft Auto Online, Grand Theft Auto 5. They have issued a formal apology saying, hey, yes, our servers have been fucked up. We, we know people have lost uh, characters, cars, money. Here's what we're going to do. We, we got the patch coming out that fixes this problem so you guys can get back and play it again. But if that wasn't enough, here's 500 grand. Yes, a half a million. We're going to dump into everybody's bank account who has played in October. It is only October 11th, 11th, uh, October 12th. It's mid-October, basically. And they're saying, hey, if, if you play any time in October with any character, we're going to dump 500 grand in it. We're going to dump a half a million into it. And that is more. That is twice the amount you need to buy a decent uh, uh, little penthouse. So now everybody's going to have a little one of the pimp penthouses. Here I am in the helicopter trying to fly my harness. The controls are a horde and I can't fly for shit in a helicopter. I don't know why. I'm so used to Battlefield and this is nothing like it. And Unfortunately, there's no custom mapping of controls because it's a console game and that's a big no-no in console games nowadays. I think I just get locked with a rocket or something. Um, so, big, big downfall about this is no custom controls. It sucks because when you want to fly a helicopter or whatever, uh, you really can't. Planes are kind of hard to fly too. Um, another downside is when you're in the water, apparently up is down, down is up. So you have to, I'm like trying to get up to the surface but holding up. So no, I have to click back on stick or something. So that's another downside. Another downside is the radio stations generally suck. Like super hardcore. I have not heard shitty radio stations like this in the longest time it feels like literally it doesn't feel like they licensed any songs they just made their own like it, they have funny commercials in there that, that's fun that's the only funny thing about it it's funny commercials that's it but the rest of the songs just suck i think they could only afford to to license eddie murphy's party all the time i heard that that was the only song i heard and i think there's a couple robert plant songs in there too but it was just like it, nothing makes any sense like you think you go to a rock station and it just plays this, like, random, nasty, icky shit. Um, I think if they want to make it better, they need to follow, uh, what is it, Volations? Violations? Whatever. The people who made Saints Row 4 made it so you can make a mixtape. You can pick your favorite songs, put it on a mixtape, and you can just play that. And you can play that inside your car, outside your car, you just to have some sort of music. You don't have to be in the car to play it. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. Another thing I'd like to see in the, in the game is uh, maybe for Grand Theft Auto 6 or something for next consoles or something, they um, they make it so the characters aren't created. They're created by you. You know, I like the single player campaign was okay, I guess, but I would rather me make three characters just to, that I want to make and play those three characters. That I think that would be awesome. Make it like Saints Row, but better. And, you know, cause, and you can voice them. I mean, it sucks in online mode, there's no voices, whatever, but I would like to see, like, a story mode where they give, you know, they, they make six or seven voices. They, you could play it, you know. You can make your own character in the story mode, and I think that'd be fine. And have your friend, buddies jump in and play their characters in place of your character or something. It would be fun. I think it would be awesome to play a decent story mode like that. Um... Here I'm trying to race back to the point while they're trying to steal helicopters. I need to get back to the area here. Um, I can't think of anything else bad about this game. I mean, um, it sucks that you pretty much have to pay for everything. Like, if you want to go in passive mode so you don't get attacked or anything, you, you, you have to pay for that. It took me the longest time to figure out how to make a private room just so I can play the online portion without worrying about some Joe Schmo running me over with his car. And it's basically you have to you have to start it up in story mode, and then go to the start menu, go to online, and then change that to like uh, invite only or something. And um, and and that's the way I like to play. No no offense. I mean, there are some times where I don't mind playing with uh, other people, but 
uh, I just find people to be dickheads in general, and they'll troll, and they'll do stuff. Maybe I'm just in the middle of doing something that I want to fucking do. I don't think I have time to be bothered with fucking some douchebag with a submachine gun who's level 80, who, who's got a combat machine gun, the heaviest armor in the game, so I can't even fucking touch him. Um, so there's that. So if you get into it, if you got a bunch of friends, make some private rooms. Um, that's where the fun is. You can sort of run around and dick around. You don't have to worry about your friends being complete douchebags. I mean, I, I should, I don't have any recorded footage of us being douchebags. But there's been times where we've run around and tried to run each other over the cars. And I would shoot out their tires <laughs> and run away or something. It was fun. Um, I usually just don't record random bullshit. But, um... Definitely, I have to say, definitely, if you haven't had the chance to buy this game yet, it's been out for a little bit. It's been out for about a month. The online portion's been out for a little over the two weeks. Definitely, this is a definite buy. I'm definitely going to buy it. Um, I red boxed it. I'm just going to let the time run out, I guess, on it and just keep it. And I'll charge me 60 bucks for it. And the online portion, it's, it's worth it. Uh, this is something I could see myself playing all the time. Um... Maybe even more than Battlefield. Battlefield's usually my game. Um, this is definitely one of those games where I think uh, I'm going to buy this game. Uh, Battlefield 4 this month. Um, I, I kind of want to buy Arkham Asylum, or Arkham Origins. But it's, uh, it is it is it does have a multiplayer in it. So I, I might want to buy it. I might just end up renting it. But Grand Theft Auto 5. Buy it. Uh, do what you got to do to buy it. It's a fun game overall. Um, you, you you can't get any better than this. Um, even if it's just for the online portion, which is what I will unbuy it for. Um, definitely, definitely must buy. Better than any. Better than Saints Row Five, kind of, or Saints Row Four, kind of. Um, although I haven't really played the online version of it, but this definitely is a lot more in depth than Saints Row Four. Saints Row Four, I gave it a, a kind of a buy. I believe it was kind of like seven out of ten. But Grand Theft Auto 5 online, Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto online, whatever you want to call it, uh, definitely buy it. It's a must buy. If you if you love this kind of game, get it, enjoy it. That is the end of my review here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.